Constancy to an Ideal Object by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Since all that beat about in nature's range, or veer or vanish, why shouldst thou remain the only constant in a world of change? O yearning thought, that lives but in the brain, call to the hours that in the distance play, the fairy people of the future day, fond thought, not one of all that shining swarm will breathe on thee with life enkindling breath, till when, like strangers sheltering from a storm, hope and despair meet in the porch of death, yet still thou haunt'st me, and though well I see, she is not thou, and only thou art she. Still, still, as though some dear embodied good, some living love before my eyes there stood with answering look a ready ear to lend, I mourn to thee and say, a loveliest friend, that this the meed of all my toils might be, to have a home, an English home, and thee. Vain repetition, home, and thou are one. The peacefulst cot, the moon shall shine upon, lulled by the thrush and wakened by the lark, Without thee were but a beclaimed bark, Whose helmsman on an ocean waste and wide Sits mute and pale his mouldering helm beside. And art thou nothing? Such thou art, as when the woodman Winding westward up the glen at wintry dawn, Where o'er the sheep-track's maze The viewless snow-mist weaves a glistening haze, Sees full before him, gliding without tread, An image with a glory round its head, The enamoured rustic worships its fair hues, nor knows he makes the shadow he pursues.